fucking awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, what's up? Okay, so you guys are watching Nika at night, and I have the beautiful Melissa Ford with me tonight. Hi, Hi. How are you? I'm doing really good. It is very wonderful to see you, and considering the car accident, and now you're coming back, and it's good to see that you made a full recovery, and you're back in the swing of things. I really like that. Thank you. That you were able to overcome that. Thank you. I. It was. I mean, gonna, I'm going to be honest. There were some days where I honestly did. I really didn't think I was going to make it. I mean. Traumatic brain injury. I had a skull fracture. I had a massive concussion. My brain was bleeding. Um, the onset of like depression that comes with that was a monster that I, I just could not cope with by, by myself. And I didn't think I was going to make it. So I had really incredible friends, really incredible supporters, like fans that would email me and give me like advice because they'd gone through similar instances. Like there's a there's a, a village of people that helped me get to where I am, you know. Yeah. So I mean, God bless them all. Seriously. Right, right. That is definitely dope. So you are one of the main girls that you think of when you think of like an iconic video girl, right? Yeah. So now the the, the industry has kind of changed. You kind of took yeah. a shift. What advice would you give to up and coming girls who like kind of want to make it in the industry or want to kind of like get into that type of thing? Um, I would say try to visualize who you're going to be five to ten years from now. You know what I'm saying? You always have to kind of keep that mindset because everybody does everything now for instant gratification, instant likes, instant validation. And be careful how you introduce yourself to the world because they'll never let you forget it. Right. That will follow you forever. That's literally going to be a chapter in my book. Like, right. that's the name, you know, like, don't. No matter, yeah, be, yeah like, be, I've done real estate. I've yeah. done so much more than that. Yeah. And that's what people know you for. Yeah, exactly. So be careful how you introduce yourself to the world because they'll never let you forget it. So just, just be cautious and have a moral code, have a system of values, have some integrity. You just don't allow yourself to just get bought. There's, there's got to be a ceiling in which you just won't go past. You know what I mean? Okay. So. That's what. That's my advice. Okay, so transitioning to now, I'm going from. Well, I don't know. Do you still do real estate? God now? no, no. I've been on the radio for like three years. I've got a podcast with Jason Lee and, and DJ Hollywood Damage, Unlocked. Hollywood yeah. Unlocked Uncensored. That takes up all my time. Okay, with, really, with a lot of it. Yeah. 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 I like you on Hollywood Unlocked because for a while I didn't watch it because you were gone, and now you're back. Why did you say that? <laughs> a lot. A lot of people actually said that and it's you know it's just it's a chemistry thing you know yeah. Jace, Jason and I started it with each other and we were friends before but unbeknownst to us we have really ridiculous chemistry I I check his most wildest impulses I can only do so much I'm sorry <laughs> but it is what it is and the show's so much fun and I mean I I'm here to represent for us you know mm -hmm. Queen, queens and princesses. That's who I'm here to represent for. You know, that strong, black, unapologetic woman who knows exactly what she wants out of life and isn't going to let anybody, you know, stop her from getting it. That's who I represent. I hope that, so. That is definitely dope because I definitely love to see your chemistry. And a lot of people think that it's easy. You know what I'm saying? People people look and they're like, oh, I could do that. It's definitely not an easy if thing. you If you guys had any idea what goes on behind the scenes, you think twice. Right. <laughs> okay, so last question. Um, Matthew Knows made comments, and he's kind of made these comments before, but he said a comment along the lines of... Beyonce wouldn't be as famous as she would if, if it wasn't for her complexion. Right. He, he has what a point. He has a point. I mean, even as far back as me doing music videos, and, I just, and something just happened with Tory Lanez, where he was doing a part in a music video, and the director tried to swap out uh, a darker complected girl for a lighter girl, and he stopped it and was like, absolutely not. And kudos to him. And he, we're from the same country, so shout out to Tory Lanez. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, it's the same thing would happen when I was on music video sets. Like, me and the majority of girls were lighter complected. Um, and... I mean, I, I have a thing for chocolate girls. I, I, I Listen, this is fake tan right now because I'm trying to get to your complexion. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, but it, he, he might, he, there is some merit to what he's saying, unfortunately. Colorism does exist in our industry, especially in our community. It's unfortunate. Right. Like the whole light skin, dark skin thing, it's fucking annoying. I hate yeah. it. How do you think that we can get past that and to where everybody gets 
recognized for their actual talent versus you know, I mean I think you guys are the winners right like at this point you know natural hair dark skin like this you you guys are being put on the pedestal light skin girls we had our moment you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm I, that's just my opinion every it's it's what I see you know um, I see the, the the pedestal and the crowns being put on to dark complexed girls and I'm like I'm here for it yeah all right, guys, well, that is Melissa Ford, the beautiful Melissa Ford, okay. And I definitely appreciate you interviewing with me. Of course, of course. Thank you, beautiful. Have a good time tonight. Hey, this is Melissa Ford, and you are watching Neek at Night.